And the baton has now been passed to the current government, um, and I acknowledge you for your efforts. Madam Chair. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. I just want to take the opportunity to respond to, um, I think, um, uh, the Honourable Louise Upson for her um, contribution, but I actually want to respond directly to uh, the SOP that's being put forward by Member David Seymour, not least because, of course, um, he remains the Member of the House yet to be convinced of the wisdom of this legislation, so it might mean that I pay him a little more attention on this occasion. Um, he made some comments uh, around the targets that are embedded in this bill, and uh, he specifically talked about the relative measures. And look, you know, those, those have been accepted broadly by the international community. Um, of course, the relative measures are used by UNICEF, by OECD. Um, they don't give us a complete picture on their own, and I accept that. Um, but I, I would be alarmed if the members rejecting those measures altogether because they are well entrenched uh, within the international community as being a good indication, uh, as a good indication of the general well-being um, of, of a society um, based on those who are living with 50 per cent um, of the um, median um, uh, income. But, uh, Madam Chair, I just want to acknowledge what the member has said about his supplementary order paper. And he said that we might get um, a better picture if we break down uh, some of the um, circumstances of individual children into questions uh, surveyed by the statistician around things like whether a child lacks pairs of shoes, sets of warm clothes, a waterproof coat, access to meat, fish or chicken, a separate bed, etc. Et um, that is all incredibly important information to know, which is why the member might be interested to know what the definition of material hardship is. Material hardship, of course, is measured by the number um, of individuals who identify with not having seven out of 17 particular um, uh, uh, forms of um, well-being uh, in the form of food, clothing, their accommodation, their ability to pay bills. Uh, and the list looks like this. You might recognise it because it's very similar to the members list. Enforced lack of essentials, um, meal with meat, fish or chicken at least every second day, two pairs of shoes, suitable, clothes, uh, suitable clothing, home and contents insurance, um, whether you've borrowed um, money in the last 12 months, whether or not you could pay an unexpected or unavoidable bill of $500, um, whether or not uh, you put up with feeling cold to save on heating costs, whether you've postponed visits to the doctor uh, and visits to the dentist, all of which I acknowledge most of these, as far as I can tell, are actually in your list, uh, Mr Seymour. Mr Seymour, so that is the definition of material hardship. Uh, and you'll be very pleased to know Clause 12 in Part 2 of the Bill includes material hardship as one of the things that the government must measure and report on. So exactly what you've asked for is exactly here in this Bill. We have not taken a singular uh, 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 view of what um, uh, poverty issues are. We have included reference to material hardship, uh, and it is something um, that we are mindful of and we will be reporting on, and we will be driving activity as a result of reporting on that. Uh, and so I hope uh, that the inclusion of the range of issues uh, that you've highlighted, and I think you're right to highlight, we haven't put the expanded list um, in the um, bill. So look, there may be things where there are some minor differences. I think, for instance, you've said access to meat um, uh, um, a meal with meat, fish or chicken each day. Uh, look, the Minister of Health might have some questions to raise over whether that's good for bowel health. Um, but apart from that, there's some slight differences there. But by and large, many of the things that you've raised are included within, um, uh, within those surveys that are undertaken around se the 17 essential uh, items and whether or not someone falls in the category of being a material hardship by being without some of those, um, a certain number of those. So happy to, to discuss that further, but I'm hoping we may have convinced the member to support the bill. Uh, I will call the Honourable Okuta Williams-Seal in this case. Thank you uh, for the opportunity.